you're watching Lee Student Television. Today I'm at Hedger House with Henry of HMLTD. How are Hello. you? Good. Yeah, good. So you're on tour at the moment. How's it been going so far? Terrific. Really good. Yeah. Cool. Um, so you guys were originally known as Happy Meal Limited. Mm -hmm. uh, your name's now HMLTD. Is it true that McDonald's were sending their lawyers after you? Uh, I mean, they sent us a cease and desist letter. Oh, okay. So uh, it was under strong advice from our lawyers that we indeed seized and desisted. We tried to, we tried changing it to a panoply of other names, Sad Meal, um, Unhappy Meal, and those were all trademark breaches. So we ended up as HMLTD, which apparently, if we acronymized it, it wouldn't be a trademark breach, so. So you were on tour this time, roughly last year, like November time, with Shame and Fontaine's DC. Yeah. How was touring with those guys? Yeah, good. I mean, Shame are really close friends of ours. Mm -hmm. um, we emerged out of the same kind of bubble mm. of uh, of bands in London. Fontaines we didn't know before the tour, but mm. the very lovely Irish boys, very sweet, very smart. We have acquired an original set list from oh, right really? here in my dungarees from when you played Stylus in Leeds on Which the tour with Shame. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at the yeah. Union. Can you name the eight songs that you performed? Is this what you wanted? Yes. Proxy Love. No. What? We didn't play Proxy Love. You didn't love. play Proxy Love. Okay, yeah. It's I mean it's it was to kind of it's to shame fans, which are very different mm -hmm. to our fans. Yeah, sure. And Proxy Love probably isn't <laughs> I don't know. Probably isn't within their taste, I wouldn't imagine. <laughs> uh, music. Correct. Death Drive. Yeah. Flex. Yeah. Satan Luella and I. No. Oh really? No. God, what a shit I set. <laughs> As I can see, my two favourites are missing. Uh, Stained. Yes. We always play that. Yes. Uh, King Kikuji. Yes. Death Drive. Mm -hmm. Where he said that? I th no, I think you've got all of them. <laughs> yeah. Is this what you want? A music loaded. Loaded. Oh, okay. Oh, that was the one yeah, you missed. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. seven, seven out of eight. We'll yeah, allow it. That's, that's pretty not, good. It's not too bad for over a year ago. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> so your guys' shows are often like super. Thematic. Where does the inspiration for those themes come from? Um, usually just from within our heads. Like uh, when we moved to London, um, we started going to shows at the windmill or at wherever. Uh, we were just like really fucking bored with everything that we saw because it was just like, just bands like who had I don't know, we're just wearing jeans and t-shirts and we're just playing the music and they might have been technically great or they might have been, you know, good musicians or whatever, but like they're, it was just so boring. Um, and so we just decided that we wanted to, you know, create something different. So we started doing set designs. So obviously you guys are a very like aesthetic heavy band. Is this sort of like an existence for you guys outside of HMLTD or is it sort of a 24 seven art project for you? It's not an art project, it's just us being ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think in earlier interviews we described it as an art project, mm -hmm. um, which was I think really dumb and pretentious. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely not an art project, like how we dress is basically just us expressing yeah. ourselves. And I think a lot of people have kind of perceived it as being some ironic thing or as being mm -hmm. us playing characters, which I think would be disingenuous. I think yeah. it'd be problematic for a multitude of reasons. Um, but no, it's yeah. it's just us being ourselves and kind of having fun. I mean, it's it's a it's a sincere thing, and mm -hmm. it's yeah. Fab. So obviously, you how long have you been on tour for now? <laughs> Not a long. A few, few days. No, like yeah, like four or five <laughs> days, like nothing. So how are you feeling for the rest of the tour? I fucking, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, touring is like, there's a really great part of touring, which is playing live to other people and having those interactions with the audience and meeting people. And then like the rest of touring is like a real psychological odyssey. Um, it's really like touring through the north of England in late October and the weather's yeah. fucking dreadful. And all you ever eat is, you know, motorway service station mm -hmm. food so you just end up feeling <laughs> dreadful so there's a lot of miseries to towing um mm. but having said that it's all worth it for the for the yeah. shows well thank you very much for talking to us Pleasure. i hear you're off to belgrave now yeah i actually work well not anymore because i quit mm -hmm. but to supplement the band because you don't make that much money in music mm. is the truth I was working in a pizza restaurant, so I'm kind of sick of pizza. Oh, okay. Well, they have some nice, some nice burgers on offer, I'd okay. say, if you're fancying an alternative, That's or great. maybe some chips. Yeah. What a thrill. Terrific. <laughs> well, good luck for the rest of the tour. Thank you. Thank you.